Well, I've just arrived at Fidden Farm, which is actually pronounced something like Fijian or Fijian or something. I've got goats off my shoulder here. They are well cute. And now it is a case of trying to find a place just to bang my van with a perfect view. So let's get in there and find a space. And it's a free for all. I've parked up, I've got a cup of tea in hand, and I've paid for two nights here, but I am thinking I might have to stay a little bit longer. Take a look at this view. That is just fantastic. And if you can see the horizon in the distance there, that is the island of Iona. Iona VW Caddy Maxi. <laughs> Dad jokes, either make them or laugh at them, it's the rule. Anyway, I am going to kayak over to Iona at some point and I'm also going to explore some of the other little beaches around and about. The sun is out, I've been chatting to my new lovely neighbours. I'm 50 yards away from adventure. Life is sweet. It doesn't really get much better than this, does it? Free man to go do whatever I want to do. Anyway, let's get out there, eh? That is just wonderful. Anyway, there's adventure to be had and I need some nutrition for it. So let's get me stocks on. <laughs> stocks with socks. It's all about the fashion, eh? Right, let's find some food. For lunch then, I'm gonna have one of these tuna pasta salads, but to make it a little bit more filling and appetizing, I've added some courgette raw and some tomatoes and some salami type stuff. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll probably just bang that in with it, so. A wetsuit on, flippers in hand. Let's go jump in the sea and have a float about. Let this wetsuit do its thing. Oh, I can feel a cold trickle coming in. Oh, that is nice though. Sunshine on my face. Right, let's do it.
that one bad at all. It's not quite a coral reef, but there's still some beauty to be had out there, definitely. Anyway, I need to get back to my van, get this wetsuit off, and then I'm gonna properly relax back for the evening. Oh. I've had a mediocre shower which was at least warm and it's the first one I've had for a couple of days so well appreciated. I've got my little washing line working well just drying a couple of bits out there and I've also got all my kit drying out on the boat but look at that view. Still just taking that in and enjoying it and also look at this we have some white wine so I am gonna pour myself some of that which I definitely cannot do one-handed. So time for a glass of wine. Right, I'm hungry now. Time to cook some dinner. So I'll get out my little Ridge Monkey stove. chopping board out 
and we'll get this set up ready to cook. Just make sure that's stable and level. Got that big chunky pan and now let's chuck some stuff in it. So for tonight we have some broccoli as always, nice red pepper, courgette, magic spam, some chorizo, an onion and a garlic and onion sauce. Oh, and just to make it a bit more fulfilling, we're gonna bang some rice in as well. Let's do it. That is looking good. Have a look at that. Ah, uh, let's get it all in. Why not, eh? I'm just gonna add a dot of water. Last bit then, we're gonna bang this sauce in. Sweet chili and garlic spam. That is what it's all about. Right, it looks about done. Flip that gas off. We'll find a fighting iron and then we'll have a taste. <laughs> Might need to leave it a minute to be fair because that is red hot. Wow, that is awesome. Yep, new recipe that. Sweet chili and garlic spam. Awesome. Well, it's been a very relaxing day. I have driven myself over to Fidden, or Fidgeon, and found myself the most perfect pitch on a pretty fantastic campsite, I've got to say. And for £12 a night, can't really complain at all and I've had a decent shower after a good cold swim in the sea and I saw lots of things in the sea like seaweed and a crab <laughs> pretty boring to be fair but just nice to be out in it all anyway I have uh, had a lovely evening eaten well I've had a drink of wine and I've been sat with the couple next door who are so lovely and very just interesting people so for tomorrow I'm gonna to get up get my kayak prepped ready to go and I'm gonna set off on a voyage and I'm gonna hopefully circumnavigate if that's the right word the whole island of Iona Iona bicycle <laughs> oh dear I can't resist Anyway, I am quite relaxed still and I am currently watching Mandalorian and I'm just going to finish my cup of tea, brush my teeth and then I will be snoozing for the night laying this lug. So we'll see thee in the morning. Morning.
spring flowers. Well, it's not the most inspiring day out there, but there's still an adventure to be had. Currently just sat against my lovely wedged cushion, which is well comfy. It's like my little lounge area. I'm getting this covered as well in the same material as that, just so it matches and looks a little bit nicer. But I've got to say, there's no condensation in here at all, like not a drop. I would expect some of this metalwork to have some on where it's cold, but just nothing. And obviously nothing on the windows. Well, I'll just have a quick look at this side. And I've also got, I've got a towel drying and in the cab I've got my wetsuit and all my kayaking gear as well. But let me just take off my temporary clips. I'm going to make a blind for this as well, like a proper curtain. But yeah, again, absolutely nothing in there whatsoever. So it definitely shows that my insulation is working or maybe that I just do not breathe at all at night. Anyway, time for some breakfast and I'm going to just relax back and just chill a bit before I get myself ready and get out on the water. Right, I'm ready for it. All set up, boat's ready. I've got all the right gear on and we're going to head out into the white abyss. There is quite a lot of cloud coming in. Anyway, let's get you attached to the boat and we'll be off. It's go time. There we are, out into the open, love it. Now oh, then, nice isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and here we are, sat on the sea with the Isle of Mull behind me where I've set off from and I am now heading to Iona which is behind you. So I'm going to today circumnavigate the whole lot and I'll probably stick quite close to the shoreline all the way around just because it keeps it safer because the weather's iffy. It's quite grey, flaily, fairly, 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 fairly flat seas but um, because this sea mist keeps sort of drifting in I do not want to be getting lost that's all. I've got all the kit I need to survive if I need, so I've got a bivy bag, dry clothes, all that sort of thing, and obviously I'm wearing a cag, buoyancy aid and everything else you'd expect, including my Zolio, which is a satellite communicator, so I've got that with me, and I'm currently leaving a breadcrumb trace, trace? A breadcrumb trail as I am going round, so at least there's a couple of people who know exactly where I am and my last location by, I think I've got it set by every sort of 30 minutes. Anyway, let's bash on and we'll go see what the island of Iona has to offer. <laughs> Iona kayak. Oh dear. Right, come on then, join me, let's bash on. We're nearly there. The last few meters. And I tell you what, it is quite a long slog over that open water, but we finally made it. I just have to touch it. Whoa, move forward. There we go, Iona. Coming into a little crack through the rocks here. I don't know whether I can get through or not. Wow. Wow, that's it. No way through, but I can turn around, which is a good thing. 
This is gonna be fun. I am so excited straight away. Oh. Well, it's a good start. Let's keep going. That is the southernmost point of Iona and I'm heading around in a clockwise direction and I'm going to keep the land on my right hand side. Simple way of doing it and then you don't get lost and I don't end up in Iceland. <laughs> Although Iceland is beautiful and if you haven't been it's definitely worth a visit but be prepared for a hell of a lot of driving. There's some amazing things but you have to drive a ridiculous amount of distance in between. This is pretty spectacular here though. Well, let's keep going. Life is too short to sit around. You need to see whatever you can. Quick stop on this fantastic beach, look at that. I'd say not a soul to be seen, but I've just seen someone just up there. Oh, fantastic. And this sea, the color of it is incredible. It is matching my little apple <laughs> isotonic uh, pick me up that I'm having. Right, back into this water. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. So it looks like it's just falling apart. A bit too rough just to go any closer. <laughs> what a day! I love it. Just out of all the choppy water that's back there and I'm just slowly drifting into the most beautiful bay. So look at this. We've got one little beach there and another one over there. I should have brought my camping gear and I could have just come for a little sneaky wild camp somewhere. No one would have known, especially out on a boat like this. You get to the places that not many other people get to. This ain't too bad, is it? Yes. Nice just coming into these little peaceful areas out of that choppy water but there's quite a wind pushing me all the way down this coast so when it comes to getting back southbound it's going to be a tricky one battling it i'm sure anyway it's now we can't handle a eh? well we're coming into a very still bit Looks like a dead end to be fair. Might squeeze through there. If I'm lucky. eerie here just all sort of quiet behind all these rocks knowing that there's some nasty waves over the other side of that and that looks like my only way out ah dear I've got to go get in it make sure my cap's on we're off
Wow. What a place. I've literally just turned up on the most amazing beach ever. My own beach. And the sun's come out. Get that. This is incredible. What a place. Well, there's no better place to have me lunch than here. So I've just got a tuna salad thing with a spoon and a little coffee Mars bar from Aldi. That has to be the best place I've ever had lunch in my life. My very own private golden sanded beach. And as you can see, the tide's going out a little bit now. So it's just opened this little jetty out to this other little bit of an island there. Oh yes. Anyway, let's get back in this boat and continue on our quest, our quest for adventure. Well, I don't want to leave, but onwards and upwards, sort of. <laughs> onwards and flat. What a place. That was just incredible. That was incredible. That's made my whole day as that. Pretty nice that in it. Can't really complain. I've nearly made it all the way around. I'm just currently drifting slowly past the abbey there. And it's quite an impressive building. 
I've got the ferry over there and I need to head in that direction past the ferry and to get back to where I started one big circle I'm nearly home I can see my van I'm excited to get back I have honestly just cracked on for that last mile or so I have not stopped paddling I itched my nose once, that was it ah. Tram on, come on Al Nearly there Well there we go, that was Iona Quite an epic adventure all the way around there to be fair and some really beautiful places there's not that many alcoves or caves or anything to explore by kayak but still nonetheless i mean i found the most fantastic beach ever and i was honestly made up by that that literally made my day it was just beautiful and one of those places that there's not that many people that would have ever trodden on that sand Anyway, <laughs> I am going to get back to my van, sort all my gear out and then uh, make myself a nice dinner with a decent beer. That's what it's all about. Well, I've just got inside after getting myself sorted, drying everything out to do with the kayak and having a nice shower. And it is Baltic out there. It's about 12 degrees. Well, it's exactly 12 degrees because my thermometer is saying that. But the wind coming through, it's such an exposed place here that it is just stripping me of my heat. So I've come inside and I'm going to cook inside now and I'm going to keep it nice and simple and I'll make myself another cheese toasty using my little ridge monkey and if you can see here I'm going to be cooking just on my little plate which I've set perfectly so it actually comes above my bed so I still can cook inside but look at that view that is what it's all about it looks quite calm doesn't it really but <laughs> it is definitely wild out there anyway cheese salami i'm gonna finish off the spam from yesterday we'll put a pepper in it and that's not enough veg is it i'm gonna have to eat some more raw broccoli i reckon anyway let's get on with this Oh, oh. oh yes a little bit of mayo with it just to dip into and then I still need my broccoli remind me I need to eat my broccoli right let's have a taste quick dip in mayo Holy, holy Iona, that is hot. Mm. Tastes good though. <laughs> it's too hot to eat, but. 
it really does taste good so it's almost like I can't help myself and that's good spam that works well with pretty much everything chorizo or whatever it is no it's not chorizo um salami that's really tasty and obviously a bit of mozzarella and cheddar not bad and a can of Stella oh dear Stella's for fellas uh, lowering the tone 